In this video, we will be doing the numericals on the weighted price index. Now you can see you are given with the weights and the price of the base year and the price of the current year. So for the weighted index number, the formula was sigma RW divided by W, which is weight. So your summation W we can find out by simply adding up your weight, which is 100. R we can find out with the formula which is price relative P1 divided by P0 into 100. So R we can find out in this way 200 divided by 100 into 100. 200. 800 divided by 200 into 100 which is 400. 16 divided by 2 into 100 is 800. 8, uh, 40 divided by 8 into 100 is 500 then 6 divided by 1 into 100 is 600 so if we add all these now the next what we need is RW so R into W is RW that is your relative prices into the weights so let's multiply this we get 80 a uh, 8000 12000 then 12000 then 500 into 10 is 5000 6000 into 5 is 3000 so let's add we'll get r w which is equal to 40000 right let's put up in the formula summation r w we got 40000 Submission W we have 100. So we get 400 as your uh, price index. So the price index in relation to the uh, for the current year with the base year as 2004 is 400. So this was your price price relative method in case of weighted index numbers now let's do the weighted aggregative method now this is the question which is given to you you are given up with the commodities that is the items price of the base year 2004 is your base year p0 quantity of the base year q0 price of the current year p1 quantity of the current year is q1 now you are asked to find out the price index number. Now see, the price index number, you cannot use the simple aggregate method in this case. You cannot use the uh, simple price related method in this case. Because you are given with the quantities as well. So whenever you are given with the quantities, in that case you will use either of the uh, three that is the last year's method past year method or the fisher's method in this question we will solve all the three methods so the last year's method we have the formula that submission of price of the current year into the quantity of the base year Submission price of the base uh, year into the quantity of the base year into 100. Right. So, let's find out P1 into Q0. So, this is your P1, this is your Q0. So, 20 into 100 is 200. 40 into 3 is 120. Then 100, 160 and 80. So the aggregate is 635. Now they have asked you to find out P0 into Q0. So this is the P0. This is the Q0. The price of the base year and the quantity of the base year. 100. 105. 150. 200. And it so add both of them will get our answer is six three 
5 it's submit 660 now we can put up in the formula that summation of p1 into q0 is 660 divide by 635 into 100 which gives you an index number of 103.94 now what was the partial method it was summation p1 into quantity of the current year p0 into the quantity of the current year into 100 so we have to find out p1 q1 and p0 q1 so p1 is uh, 20 and q1 is 25 so p1 q1 20 into 25 is 500 then 400 then 300 8 into 20 is 160 we are multiplying this with this p1 into q1 this is p1 this is q1 and 200 so we'll add them we'll get 1560 as the answer then price of the base year which is this column and the quantity of the current year which is this column so we'll multiply this we'll get 250 350 then 450 then 200 and then again 200 so we'll add them we'll get an answer as 1450 so the partials method now p1 into q1 submission is 1560 P0 into Q0 submission is 1450 into 100. So we've got an answer as 107.59. And the last comes is your Fisher's method, which is the most ideal method. So Fisher's method is under root. Both of the formulas will combine. Submission P0 Q1 into 100. So, now we can put up the formula. The values in the formula that is under root 660 divided by 635 into 1560 divided by 1450 into 100. So, we will get an answer as under root 1.03 into 1.07 into 100, which is 1.05 into 100 which is 105 so in this way we have find out the weighted M index number using the weighted aggregative method that is last year's Parshes and Fisher's method so these three methods are very important to remember because you will get definitely one question in the exam and these are the very important methods. So I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.